Before we get to today's video, we'd like to let you guys know what's been going on lately. Clearly, we haven't been keeping up on our weekly upload schedule. This is solely because the editors on our team have been having issues getting things done. Some don't have enough time on their hands and are too busy. Some are just straight inactive. Some are even leaving the team. We are trying our hardest to get this issue resolved so we can get back on track. As of now, we are taking, hiring if you will, new editors on the Star vs. the Forces of Evil, Amino. We apologize for our lack of content lately. This video has been heavily delayed and should have been up ages ago, but one of our editors left without finishing this one. This video itself isn't out of date, but some of our upcoming ones will be outdated. We'll leave a notice on those particular videos when they're up. With that out of the way, thanks to, for your patience and give a hand to our guest actor from the Star vs. Amino, Kai. As we all know, in Season 3 of Star vs. the Forces of Evil, Star and Tom got back together. <laughs> it was a moment when all the Tom Star fans were jumping for joy, and the Star Co-Shippers were about to kneel over in shock. Now. They were together prior to this, but that didn't end well. Of course, we don't know the exact details of the breakup, but we can safely assume that Star was the one to initiate it, or the one to dump Tom, and that he was probably being a jerk about it. <laughs> so what led them to get back together? I believe that a big factor in this was Marco. Star was forced to leave Earth, and was back on Muni, and she was staying. She was, well, alone in a sense. Hey, that's pretty good. She lost all of her friends from Earth, including her best friend, Marco. To top things off, Star's previous confession to her best friend was, for lack of a better word, rejected. Ooh. This leads me to believe that Star was using Tom as a sort of crutch to fall back on. Now, that doesn't mean that she doesn't like him, or her feelings for him. She was in a sort of vulnerable stage from the previous events, and the Silver Bell Ball caused old feelings to resurface, leading to their reunion. If that is the case, then will their relationship really go anywhere? I'm afraid the answer is most likely no, and the matter that will ultimately lead to their split will be Marco's feelings for Star. Yes, it was proven in the episode Lava Lake Beach, Marco now has a crush on Star. How convenient. Now, I can't say when this will happen, but I can say that it is inevitable. Let's backtrack a bit. Marco couldn't accept Star's confession because he was dating Jackie. Her confession, however, played a huge part in Marco and Jackie's breakup, along with Star herself. Our current situation is strikingly similar. Star is now dating Tom, while Marco has a crush on Star. If it follows suit, then Marco just might end up getting in the way of their relationship. As her squire, of course, he's always there for Star. This might even come across as a threat to Tom, bringing out a bit of his more jealous and selfish side, something that we believe led to them breaking up the first time. Tom has reined in that part of his personality for the sake of Star and their relationship. However, you can pick up bits and pieces of where he let a little bit of it show in several episodes. An example would be in one of the most recent episodes, Monster Bash. Star throws a party hoping to unite humans and monsters, but along the way many things go wrong, as you know. Tom, however, wasn't very interested in helping Star to sort things out, and was focused solely on partying and doing romantic things with Star. He had no intent on supporting her with the party, and even threw a bit of a tantrum when he didn't get things the way he wanted. Star could eventually break up with Tom because of this reason. His egotistic attitude surely could re-emerge and cause her to end it once and for all. However, we cannot put it past Tom to be the one to do the dumping. Sure, there are lots of reasons for Star to do so, but if you analyse the situation, Tom might have just as many. Nevertheless, their relationship is one that I don't see going very far, or lasting very long. Both of them have numerous motives for ending it, and Marco is at the centre of them all. 
Way to go, Diaz. Maybe a bit imposing on the demon. This might lead to Tom not trusting Star, or even getting so fed up with Marco that he does something out of line. What do you think? Will Tom and Star stay together, or are they bound to separate for good? Let us know. Thanks for watching.